Companies like Mattel and Hasbro start to reveal their 2022 San Diego Comic-Con plans. New Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle and Stranger Thing 2 packs. Also, the latest update on the G.I. Joe Classified HasLab campaign and a whole lot more. So let's jump right into it. Hey, all you action figure enthusiasts out there. JC here and welcome to a Friday edition of TNI News. So let's start off with a little bit of news from McFarland Toys. So first of all, yesterday they revealed a new DC Multiverse figure, uh, giving us a preview image for their Superman from Future State Worlds of War, uh, which I just referred to as Gladiator Superman. So no other details other than it's coming soon. However, I do want to note that this is one of the figures that was uh, listed on uh, that recent rumor list that I told you guys about. So uh, you can scratch this one off as, as being confirmed. Now, McFarland Toys also announced yesterday that they are going to be holding their virtual, meaning online, summer showcase event, which will be taking place July 14th through the 15th. So uh, a week before or a little bit before, yeah, about a week before San Diego Comic-Con, uh, they're going to be basically revealing new products online. So uh, going back to that rumored list I told you about a while back, you know, definitely a lot of figures on there, which I expect we'll start to see revealed during the summer event. For you Masters of the Universe fans, that Mega Construct Snake Mountain playset went up on the Mattel Creations website for pre-order today for $321. I believe it is still available there. However, as I've mentioned before, that set will be available elsewhere. It is not a Mattel Creations exclusive. I don't know exactly when other places will be allowed to put it up for pre-order or what have you. But again, this is not a Mattel Creations exclusive. And at some point, it will be available. Should be available at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth, and pretty much everywhere that carried that, that Castle Grayskull Mega Construct set. Tomasi Nations has revealed their summer exclusive offerings. So uh, places at like San Diego Comic-Con, um, you'll be able to get a couple of different Dragon Ball Z SH figure art repaint figures. They've got four of those. And then also from their Monster Arts line, a repaint of their Kong figure. And then there's a Gundam figure and a, a, a Naruto figure as well. So, um, you know, these basically just, like I said, look like they're repaints of figures they've already released. But... But th this is what they'll be offering for their summer convention exclusives. For you LEGO fans, we've got a look at a new Super Mario set, the Mighty Bowser. This is set number 71411. This set will have 2,807 pieces, and it's due out in October of this year. Now, for you Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fans, we've got several new offerings from Playmates Toys. So first of all, we've got a look at three new retro sets. Now, one of these sets actually went up for pre-order yesterday on Walmart's website. That is the set featuring uh, the superheroes. So uh, that set has Super Mike, Mighty Bebop, Super Don, and Rhino Man. So again, that one went up for pre-order yesterday on Walmart. And, then, and as I'm filming this, it is currently listed as sold out. Now, the other two sets, all three of these sets were actually initially uh, revealed via an overseas retailer... Uh, called Bulletproof Villain. So the other two sets, which have yet to show up anywhere here in the United States, I don't know if these will be offered at Walmart as well, but the other two sets include uh, Toon Turtles, so uh, Toon versions of the four turtles. And then the third set is, uh, it's a 1993 villain set. So you're going to get the Foot Soldier, Leatherhead, Mutagen Man, and Wingnut with Screw Loose. So, um, again, these are all essentially reissues of their original uh, vintage mold type uh, figures. And as I said, as of right now, the only one to show up here in the U.S. is that superhero set, which went up on the Walmart uh, site yesterday. And when more details become available on the other two, I'll be sure to let you guys know. And then on top of that, going up for pre-order on the Target website, these are being offered as Target exclusives, are those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 
and Stranger Thing 2 packs. So this had been teased a couple of weeks ago on the Target website. We weren't quite sure what these were going to be, whether they were going to be mashups or two packs like we've been seeing. You know, they've done the Cobra Kai with the Turtles. They've done the Street Fighters with the Turtles. And now we've got Stranger Things. So only two sets were shown. I do believe there will be two more with the remaining four Turtles uh, and then uh, uh, additional Stranger Thing characters. But the two sets that were revealed today and went up for pre-order were uh, a set featuring Hopper and Raph, and uh, the Stranger Thing figures seem to be based on Season 3, their appearances in Season 3, and then the second set is Eleven and Leo. So the Turtle figures seem to be comic book based, where each of the Turtles had the red bandanas. I believe Playmates has released the Turtle figures before as single releases. Now you do get a few uh, new accessories uh, that are... And, you know, with, for Stranger Things, including a, a waffle throwing star and a Walkman with headphones. But um, I believe the figures themselves have been previously released. And then, of course, this is Playmates Toys' first crack at six-inch Stranger Thing figures. And as I said, while not confirmed, I, I am assuming there's going to be two more sets in Wave 2. That's how they usually break these up. Uh, which again will have the two remaining turtles and and two more additional characters from Stranger Things. Aya Toys has two new Judge Dredd figures. So these are repaints, but they're done as black and white figures. These are the one and 18 scale or four inch figures that they've been doing. So the two figures that they're doing with the black and white deco is Judge Dredd himself. And then uh, the character Judge Mortis. And these have not yet gone out for pre-order at places like our sponsors, Big Bad Toy Store and Entertainment Earth but I believe they will be soon. For you G.I. Joe fans, so going up for pre-order yesterday was that Tiger Force Duke with Ram Cycle that we had seen images a couple of weeks ago for. That is now available for pre-order on the Target website. As I began filming this video, it was still available for pre-order, so I don't think you have to worry about it selling out quickly. Um, but again, if you want to get your hands on that, it, it is up there on the Target website. And I suspect this will be released at physical stores at some point, but no release date, actual release date for this set has been given at this time. And then for the G.I. Joe Classified HasLab His Tank campaign, so we talked about this in great detail last night during my live stream, but just to quickly recap... We are now on to stretch goal number four, which was revealed yesterday to be a six inch retro Cobra Commander figure. So based on his more traditional design as opposed to the previous classified Cobra Commander figures that we've gotten. Now this particular one will be on a retro card. You get accessories like a dagger, you get the globe with the snake wrapped around it, which is a tribute to the advertisement for the G.I. Joe Parker Brothers game. You get multiple hands. And, uh, of course, his hairdryer gun, and they've got a thing that you can put on the figure's back so it will hold it there, just like the original figure. Now, this particular figure that's coming with the His Tank has what is known as the Mickey Mouse symbol. Um, for those not familiar, the original Cobra Commander figure back in the early 80s was done as a mail-away, and the initial figures were released with an incorrect Cobra symbol that look like had, uh, you know, mouse ears, which is why everyone nicknames it uh, the Mickey Mouse variant. So those were very limited, but Hasbro's basically paying tribute to that figure with this one, which makes me think that we will see this actual figure again with a regular Cobra symbol uh, released uh, in a more general way. Maybe not just a general release. I'm thinking possibly one of the final two Walmart exclusive retro card back figures. But that's just an assumption of my time. I wouldn't be surprised if the final two uh, are going to be Cobra Commander and maybe a Duke figure. But we'll have to wait and see on that. But again, for this HasLab campaign, uh, this figure will be included, assuming that it reaches uh, 16,000 backers. Now, as I'm filming this, uh, the campaign is currently at uh, 15,456. So it has just a little bit over 600 backers to go before the Cobra Commander is unlocked. It is going a little bit slower than I had anticipated. Uh, I thought this you know, was a pretty cool stretch goal. So I was thinking maybe we would have gotten to the 16,000 by now. But definitely, I mean, there's over 38 days left in the campaign. I have little doubt that we will reach that 16,000 number. Um, but, you know, likely probably it won't be until sometime this weekend. 
But, um, and what, you know, Hasbro at the beginning of this campaign said it would only have four stretch goals. However, that hasn't kept a lot of people from speculating that Hasbro is going to throw in another one. I don't really think that at the absolute most, my, my feeling is maybe we'll get some blast effects as a thank you. You know, Hasbro did say when they, you know, were launching this, that they were going to add holes to the gun turrets so that you could put blast effects, you know, shooting effects into the turrets. And being that they have not included any such thing with this, I, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if they maybe come back later and say, you know, as a thank you for, you know, funding this and getting through all the stretch goals and doing it so fast and all that, um, we're going to throw in these blast effects for you. So we'll have to wait and see if they actually do that. Um, but, you know, for those thinking we're going to get like an asp or something like that, I, you know, I, I think you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. I don't think there's really any chance of that. But as it is, you know, the campaign has done very well. It's only, it's just been over a week. It was announced last Wednesday. You know, here we are at Friday and we're basically at 500 before we get to the final stretch goal. So it's definitely, I've been fairly successful. Um, and, you know, uh, I, I definitely look forward to getting mine uh, next year when these actually ship out. Now, speaking of Hasbro, Hasbro has started to announce uh, when their panels at San Diego Comic-Con are going to be this year. So, so far, we know that there's going to be a Transformers panel on Thursday. So that is July 21st, and that panel is going to take place at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So remember, all San Diego Comic-Con times are Pacific. So 1 p.m. Pacific time for the Transformers panel on the 21st, which again is Thursday. And then on Friday, the 22nd, we're going to get both a Marvel Legends panel and the Star Wars panel. So the Marvel Legends panel is going to be at 12.30 p.m. Pacific time. Now, one thing I want to note in regards to the Marvel Legend panel that a number of people have noticed in the official description for the panel, it lists the panel members. So, of course, uh, Ryan Ting, Dan Yun, Jesse Falcon, those are all normal names that we expect to see for a Hasbro panel, a Marvel Legends panel. But uh, Steve Evans is actually listed as opposed to Dwight Stahl. Dwight Stahl is actually not listed as one of the panel members. And Steve Evans, who does work for Hasbro, he does work on the Marvel uh, team. Um, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't necessarily read anything into it. I mean, some people are asking whether Steve is replacing Dwight. Uh, I don't think that's the case. But it's possible that Dwight is not actually making the trip out to San Diego this year. I don't think Hasbro is going to have as much of a large presence this year. I don't think they're going to have... I think their booth is going to be much smaller this year. They're not going to have the Hasbro Pulse, you know, where they're selling the exclusives. I already talked about that before, where they're not going to have actual San Diego Comic-Con exclusives on hand. All the purchasing of those exclusives will be done online via Hasbro Pulse. So, um, you know, basically I'm expecting Hasbro to have a fairly small presence at Comic-Con this year. Um, but whether Dwight's actually there or not, I don't know. Um, but he is currently, you know, in the official panel description is not listed as being part of the panel. Now, the Star Wars panel will be taking place after the Marvel Legends panel on Friday the 22nd, and the time for that one is 2 p.m. Pacific time. Now, I don't know if Hasbro is going to be streaming these panels live from Comic-Con. I don't even know if they're allowed to do that. You know, I'm imagining that the Comic-Con folks want people to actually attend the convention and not sit at home and watch it. But, um, yeah, I can't say one way or, or another. I also don't know if Hasbro is going to do anything else outside of San Diego, uh, you know, like a PulseCon sometime this summer or not. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. But, um, you know, it, even if they don't stream the panels, we will, of course, have full coverage of them up on the sites. Marvelous News, Jedi Insider, T-Formers. I also, I don't know if there's going to be any other Hasbro panels, uh, possibly on Saturday. Uh, maybe even Sunday, though generally uh, your good panels are, are not on Sunday because, you know, most people leave or early on Sunday to head for home. But, you know, they have not released the schedule, the Comic-Con schedule for Saturday yet, so it's possible there could be some more Hasbro panels then. You know, G.I. Joe maybe, Power Rangers maybe, I, d I don't know. Uh, but we'll learn that tomorrow. That's when the Saturday uh, schedule will be released for Comic-Con. And if there's any updates to be had, you know, look to T&I for that. Now, Mattel has also released their Comic-Con schedule, and the, the things I want to note here are for you WWE fans, there will be a panel held at the Mattel booth 
or I'm sorry, the the um, uh, Mattel panel is actually in in room six A. So uh, that that's going to be on July twenty first, uh, which is Thursday at eleven fifteen a.m. So again, I don't know if there's any plans from any of these companies to stream any of this stuff online or not. But again, we'll have coverage for you uh, once it's available. Uh, so if you're not attending the convention, you'll still be able to find out what's going on. And then there's a Masters of the Universe 40th anniversary panel. This is going to be a big one on uh, at 3 p.m. on Hall H. It is going to be hosted by Kevin Smith. Um, and I, it's listed as like interview. So I don't know if there's going to be really any like toy reveals at this panel. Um, but, you know, we might get some more details on like the Revelation a series or the new cgi series things like that um, but again i don't know if they're going to do any uh, uh toy reveals it's actually going to be in hall h which is you know the biggest uh room that they have to hold stuff that's where they have usually you know disney and marvel and all that stuff uh, again uh in hall h so that's pretty cool for masters of the universe and then uh there will be a design panel for masters of the universe on friday that's at the mattel booth and again whether they actually show off any new product or announce any new product during that uh, is not entirely clear but if they do or if they just have some stuff on display at their booth or what have you again we'll have full coverage of that on on t and i okay so that's it for today as always i'd love to hear your thoughts on everything i talked about down in the comment section below like the video if you're so inclined and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. As always, guys, stay safe out there. Have a great weekend. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. And be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification so you're alerted every time I upload a new video. And be sure to head over to the Toy News International and Marvelous News Message Sports Communities. It's a great place to talk toys and win cool contests like $100 store credits to Big Bad Toy Store. And remember, action figures are great!